Southwest of England, just outside Somerset, there was another sighting. It was captured on videotape. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I think it's coming this way. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Is it? It is. That's amazing. The UFO that you saw um, originally was spotted approximately about 200 yards to the left of the aerial mast. And I suppose it was probably at about 500 feet up. It was very low in right. the sky. And this is a radio communications tower? This is tower a, a radio sort? communications. Uh, they've got three military masts on there. And uh, it sends out, one is a navigational uh, signal, which is used for aircraft. The other two aerials are, are near the top. We're not quite sure, but uh, there is a pulsed frequency that comes from them. The actual UFO, uh, from the time it was first seen by Rod Dickinson, who did the filming, uh, it lasted approximately 12 minutes, so it was uh, quite a long period of time for a daylight sighting to occur. We took this tape to be analyzed by Lucasfilm's Special Effects Division, Industrial Light and Magic, in San Rafael, California. Here we met with Bill George, an Academy Award-winning visual effects supervisor, over the last 20 years, his special effects have been featured in films like Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. The optical zoom certainly would... He analyzed this footage to determine its authenticity. But there are several things that I see when the footage is running that, that tells me this was actually there when this was filmed. First of all, it's the shake. Okay. The shake. If, if you were to give me a background plate of just the sky and say, we want you to take this image of a flying saucer and match it in, that's something that's technically very difficult to do because you would have to match, putting the two elements together, you would have to match the shake. Now, certainly we have computers that can track that, but this is just, this is all over the map. A couple other cues that tell me that this is actually there when it was being filmed was that it's going in and out of focus with the background because the camera is trying to compensate and trying to focus, it's probably have some sort of autofocus. So the background is going in and out of focus along with the object. There are these dark things flying through frame, and if someone was to have to put that in there, they would have to composite it in behind the birds. It's a, it would be a technical problem. Bill George couldn't say it was a real UFO, but he could confirm for us the that the object was film. not added in later. Given those clues, I'm convinced that this object was there when this person was, was taping.